हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू हैवन सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम 335 इन दिस प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट विद हिज वेट डब्ल्यू इक्वली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑन बोथ फीट अ मैन बिगेंस टू स्लोली राइज फ्रॉम अ स्क्वेटिंग पोजीशन एज इंडिकेटेड इन द फिगर वी आर रिक्वायर्ड टू डिटरमाइन द टेंसाइल फोर्स एफ इन द पैटेलर टेंडन right so we have to find the force f that is applied by this tendon right and the magnitude of the force reaction at point o and we have to find the resultant reaction at this point o which is the contact area between the tibia and the femur bone right and it is said that note that the line of action of the patellar tendon force is along its midline right and it is said that neglect the weight of the lower leg so first of all we will represent all the forces that are present in this situation right so first i will draw the force f which is applied by this muscle right and this force is acting at this 55 degree angle right and since the weight is equally dis distributed on these two fields so the floor will be applying half of the weight uh, of the total weight of the of this body right so we will have a reaction force here and that reaction will be acting vertically upward right and that reaction will be somewhere here right and this will be w divided by 2 right so this reaction will be half of the weight of the body right and similarly we will have uh, two reactions at point o so we will have uh, o x reaction similarly and similarly we will have o y reaction let's say this is o y right and this is our positive x and this is our positive y direction right so this will be o x this will be o y and this is the f force which is required to be determined right now if we apply the summation of moment at point o equals to 0 with the assumption that the counter clockwise moment is positive right so this o x and this o y will not produce the moment about point o this is that point o so only this uh, reaction and this force will produce the moment about this point o so as we can see that this force f is producing the counter clockwise moment about that point o so we will write f and the perpendicular distance of this force from that point o is this 50 mm which is given right so we will multiply this with 50 and similarly as we can see that this w by 2 is producing the clockwise moment about this point o so we will write minus w divided by 2 and the perpendicular distance of this reaction from that point o is this much this is 225 right so we will multiply this with 225 and this will be equal to 0 so when we solve this so the force f that is applied by this patellar tendon is equal to 2.25 weight right so this is in terms of the weight since the weight is not known right so this is equal to 2.25 w now if we apply the summation of forces along x equals to 0 so for that we have to resolve this force into its components right so it will have one component acting in the x direction right so it will have one component like this and it will have one component which will be acting in the y direction right this one will be the cross component so we can write that this will be f cos of 55 degree and this one will be the sine component right so we can write this will be f sine of 55 degrees so now if we apply this equation right so then as we can see that this or x is acting in the positive x direction so we will write o x and this f cos of 55 degree is also acting in the positive x direction so we will write plus f cos of 15 and f is 2.25 w cos of 15 degrees and this will be equal to 0 so from this o x is equal to minus 1.29 w right this is not 15 this is 55 degrees right so this angle is 55 degrees right so this is o x so this means that o x is acting in the negative x direction right so we can write that o x is 1.29 w and this is the direction of that o x now if we apply the summation of forces along y equals to 0 so that will give us the o y reaction so as we can see that o y is acting in the negative y so we will write minus o y 
and this sine component is acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus and f is 2.25 w sine of 55 degrees and this reaction is also acting in the positive y direction so we will write plus w divided by 2 and this will be equal to 0 and if we bring this oy to the other side of the equation so this will become positive oy right so we will be left with this equation so this equation will give us oy magnitude in terms of w from this equation we get oy equals to 2.34 w right so this is oy and that is ox and now in the problem it is said that find the magnitude of the force reaction at point O, right? So we have to find the magnitude of the resultant of both of these, right? So the resultant of both of these is let's say O and that O will be equal to, the magnitude will be equal to OX square plus OY square under the root 2. So OX is 1.29W and this will be equal to whole square plus 2.34W whole square we can take w square common so w square if we take w square common so that will be out of the square root so that will be w this will be 1.29 square plus 2.34 square and this will be equal to so the total reaction at point o magnitude is 2.67 w right so this is the force that is applied by that uh, patellar tendon muscle and this is the reaction at that point O, right? So this is the solution of this particular problem.